What did you do this weekend, Robin? I went to see a show. Yeah, what show? The A Day in the Death of Joe Egg. Yeah, I would never go to that. <laughs> Already I know I don't like it. <laughs> oh, it's very well acted. Yeah, well, I, like I can egg. tell you didn't like it either. No, I really liked yeah. it. The second time I've seen that production, uh, not that particular production, I saw it in London first. I thought this was a much better thing. Hardy eats eggs. <laughs> yeah, I like eggs. Hardy went out and did uh, stand-up comedy this weekend, and John says Hardy's eating was out of control. Hardy's telling me it's the road. It, the it road. makes I go, him eat? He's here all week. He's on the road one day. Why well, does he days. have to eat on the road? Because, you know, what else is there to do? You, you, you drink and you get kind of revved up from the big performance. <laughs> and then you want to eat. Where were you guys? We were in Columbus, Ohio at the Funny Bone. So, <clears throat> so we go back to the hotel and our room service is closed at 12 o'clock. So we have no place to get food. So we're starving. So we go and call a cab company to go and take us through the drive through at the Steak and Shake. Oh, boy. The what? It's the... called, it's, it's one of the best places I've ever been to in my life. It's called Steak and Shake. And you can get steaks and shakes. What do you, what do you mean? Just, that's all they have? That, I mean, no, they have cheeseburgers. It's a drive through It's a drive through And yeah. you get drive through steak? Like a porterhouse <laughs> steak you can get? Well, they have what they call a steak burger, which is what we got. But yeah, you so could. it's a hamburger. No, but you could get a steak, too, right. if you wanted. Like steaks and eggs. And is it Columbus? This is in Columbus, yeah. Steak and shake. I wonder why they don't have that here. Yeah. But it, it's great. And it's like an all-night drive through so for people like us, you can go there and eat. And we were loaded, so we had to order through the cab driver who barely spoke English, so we're yelling stuff. I want chili, too. Like, I, they want chili. And uh, we want a double toe. I didn't know what we were talking about. So what about. did you pack away? All right, I got to tell you Artie's menu. You ready? <clears throat> uh, uh, one double cheeseburger. Uh -huh. uh, one grilled cheese sandwich. Oh. This is, he ordered all this at once. Yeah, this is all for one sitting. Yeah. One grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, why does it always have to have cheese? I mean, I don't know. I, I like cheese. Yeah, I I've you never don't... heard of a cheeseburger with a cheese, a grilled cheese on the side. Yeah, grilled cheese on the side. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. Harry, he, he, he had a, a, a double yeah. cheeseburger, then a grilled cheese sandwich. Before he says this, oh. I'm just going to say up front, there'll be, I can't defend this behavior at all. <laughs> this was no, because actually... cheese is like the most fattening thing. I know. And you don't care. No, no. Well, I was, I mean, you know, I was very hungry. All right, so you wait, okay. start again. Yeah, you you got to hear this. Right. Double cheeseburger. One double cheeseburger. Okay. Then a separate grilled cheese sandwich. Then a bowl of chili Ooh. with saltines. Ugh. Then an order of onion rings. You know, the, the, you know, the fried onion rings. Then an order of french fries. Oh, my oh. God. Then Did you order it all at once or, or separately, like like a little bit? All at time? once. Yeah, yeah. All at once. yeah, this is a drive through It's a drive through staying there. And then a large chocolate shake with whipped cream and cherry on top. Wow. But, but, uh, uh, I don't know how you're not fatter. You're amazing. <laughs> Me neither. And then, and, and then, Howard, so we go back to the hotel, and I realize that my hamburger has cheese on it. I hate cheese, so I'm, I'm, I'm starving. So I'm, so I'm eyeing Artie's chili, hoping he's not going to eat it. Artie, ta Artie takes the grilled cheese sandwich and dips it in the chili as like a dipping Dip. sauce and, and cleans out the whole bowl of chili with the grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then the next and, night... And then I got a good night's sleep. I'm laughing. Oh. Then the next night, the same menu, again, at Steak and Shake. The next night, it. only two double cheeseburgers. Wow. And, and, and like a double double the meat, so we got two double... I mean, one double cheeseburger would be somebody's dinner. Right. <laughs> but he ordered like for three people. And they're big. Got, I mean, you move your bowels afterwards like like is it like insane well, the, forget it so this is friday night you know right. So we, we've been up for 20... And you were drinking all night. Yeah. All right, we got to I got to say the note that it's, it's 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 as unhealthy as you are so gluttonous. Did you get I have totally no defense for what... Yes, and then I go upstairs. You know, the funny thing is, I could eat the same meal Artie, you just described Artie, because I, I am ravenous. I can eat and eat meat, but I, I get like, oh my god, I don't want to be like a huge I don't want to be like, you know, Reuben Stuttered. I <laughs> doubt if you could eat three sandwiches Absolutely could. in one sitting. Absolutely could. And a bowl of chili. Absolutely could. I'd like I, to I see you, you do it. And you should see the amount of food I eat. I just eat healthy food. Well, I do think you're like a factory. Yeah. I always think of you. I mean, like, you're constantly feeding your machine. Yeah. I'm, here, I'm hungry. Yeah. I am hungry yeah. all the time. But Artie must have a baby when he goes to the bathroom. But i got to tell you something. Like, like, I just ate my breakfast. Yeah. I mean, I'm starving. I had egg whites, and that's it. I ate the, the edge of a toast.
<laughs> and the thing is that... <laughs> and Artie's got bread and bread and bread. But the, and I'm so starving after that, but, like, the hunger will subside. I'll forget after a while. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, right. just, like, you gotta start somewhere. But this you is know, after, like, eight shots of tequila. Which is a lot of calories, too. Yeah, and, like, and not only that, that lowers his ability to say no to the food. But I went to Steak and Shake, and it was fun when you're drunk. To, I was pretending I was Jeff the Drunk when I ordered, and I said, I'd like a steak... <laughs> And I'd like a shake. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Howard. Yeah. I went to already um, sort of diet for about a minute and 11 seconds. It was the funniest thing. It was another one of these comedy shows. So they order all this food. So already got a bunch of hamburgers. So he's sitting there, and he pulls the burger off the bread. And he goes, yeah, you know, I promised Dana that I would lay low on the breads and stuff. So he cuts up the hamburger with a knife, <laughs> and he eats like three of them. And then he's sitting there, and he's sitting there, but it's a room full of food, so finally he can't take it anymore. He goes to the pizza, and that's like eight slices of pizza. <laughs> but he really did not eat the bread. I mean, Dana, if Dana's going to marry you, she's going to have to realize she is going to be living with a very fat guy. Well, the problem I is... I mean, you're not changing. The problem is is that then after this, it's 4 a.m., yeah, I, got... I go upstairs, and I call Dana. Yeah, this is a whole... Hold on, hold on, wait. Hold on, hold on. it's like... <laughs> hold on. See, he, 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 he's drunk. I mean, he had, right. he had about eight shots of tequila on stage. I mean, you know, he, just totally inebriated. Right. You know? So so then he's like, oh, I'm gonna go call Dana. And I'm like, oh, all right, don't call Dana. It's just not. The, it's you. You don't do. It. You're like, God, I have a thing. I gotta call her after every you know night. She got to make sure I'm okay. Hmm. Go, all right, just tell her the phones aren't working or something. You key. You should not call. He's like, what? The, the phones aren't working. And the phones aren't working. I go, I don't care. Don't do it. Sure enough, he does it. Tell tell what you did. <laughs> well, that's just, the whole point is I call her and we talk for like an hour and she stays on the phone with me and, and the next morning I wake up and I forget most of the conversation and there's there's grease all over the phone from the, from the meal. You like know? a murder. And I got to go wash the phone and then yeah. I'll call Dana the next day to recap what the, con you know, when I wake up at two. Right. And she'll be all mad and she'll go, so, uh, remember calling me last night? And I go, I go, yeah, yeah, I remember. She goes, well, good conversation, right? I go, yeah, yeah. She goes, nice proposal. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! I go, what? Oh. <laughs> you know, like, why does she want to talk to you in that condition? I think she's afraid. She wants to make sure I'm okay. But you're not okay. <laughs> so she's, yeah, making, so she's making sure I'm not okay. You proposed in a drunken stupor? I guess maybe I did. Wow. And I guess maybe I've done it before. Oh I love you. I love you. Oh, forget it. The Late Show, Friday Night in Columbus. They were the craziest group. You got to read the note that the manager gave to the owner of the club about the Late Show in Columbus. What did it say? <laughs> He goes, all right, I think you were happy with the numbers. He goes, uh, 10.30 show, out of control. I spoke with John and Artie. Both said they could handle everything. We kicked out two people for working up on stage. Artie went 30 minutes over, in parentheses, very drunk. <laughs> I, I really thought he wouldn't get off the stage. <laughs> John lets him go. Oh, I've told both CR and TJ God. how to handle the shows. This show is probably the craziest show I've ever, I, I've ever managed. <laughs> Artie went like 30 minutes. He was like, people are buying him shots of tequila. Yeah. I've never seen a guy drink that much alcohol in, in one. Dude, you're going to be dead. Well, there's no, there's are you no, doing a Belushi for no, real? No, no, I swear to you. There, there was no security there. People were coming up on stage. I'm supposed to do 40 minutes. That's right. the headline. You do like 40 minutes. And you're just doing your stand-up and then some guy walks up on stage? Yeah. And, and offers you a drink. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like Artie feels too much peer pressure. But isn't that, doesn't that ruin the flow of your comedy? Yeah. <laughs> but the guy's got a drink. And are you so drunk do you remember your act? I mean, no, I, I mean if you're proposing it, Shakes. It's amazing. He could he could oh. do his act like inebriated. I've never seen anybody I could like, do that. I mean, yeah, you know, it's I could do somebody act in my sleep, which I think right. I technically did. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I was supposed to do 40 minutes in the late show. I did probably like an hour and a half. <laughs> like a Springsteen concert. Let me ask you something. If Dana said to you, Artie... You have to stop drinking or I'm leaving you. Would you what would you do? I'd stop drinking. You would? I would. For a minute. Whoa! You're would, never going to stop. Because it's not, booze isn't as important to me as it used to be. It just isn't. <laughs> it just isn't. It's, 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 look, on the road, it's it's really, it's 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 horrible. The hotel rooms are bad. The, you know, and me and John, uh, you know, don't 
cheat on our <laughs> significant other so we eat. Well, John does. No, I don't. No, I'm, I'm joking. I've never seen John even close to doing it. Yeah, we, we, we just go to the bar, drink, and then eat. It's true. If you can't have sex with somebody, you might as well drink. What's the other great pleasure drink in life? And eat. Drinking. E and eating. Right. I mean, I treat a double cheeseburgers my mistress. <laughs> my lady. But do you think Artie will one day be a Walter Hudson? Oh, no. Well, no. I don't know. You know. I think he's yeah, going to... I, you know what? It's weird. The thing that saves Artie is, I guess, that he was an athlete when he was younger. Uh -huh. Somehow, that seems to be... Well, that's His what body so, still I'm, remembers? I'm yeah, like, like, like there's some sort of sense memory. But at some point, you cannot eat that many calories. I, I play softball. Like, I'm playing softball today in the park. Yeah. yeah, but one of these days, your activity level is going to go down. Like, you'll be married, you'll have a family, you'll have chores at home or something. Yeah. And your activity level is going to go down, but the eating isn't. Well, he... <laughs> <laughs> he might turn into a Walter Hudson. They might be taking him out with the crane. Well, you, you never know. Artie, Artie flailing his arms up and down. I can't walk. <laughs> I, I think he's going to like, do the Belushi thing. Like, no. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I think you're going to die young. I, uh, look, I'm 35. I already got a couple years on Belushi. Any history of heart problems in your family? No. No? Nothing crazy. And it never scares you when you hear about guys like uh, Luther Vandross or... Uh, uh, Barry White. Those guys oh, are black. Hey. Oh, if that's the difference? Yeah. They're not fat. It's not the fat. He's a fat white guy. So it's the white. <laughs> yeah, guy. yeah. Okay, that's going to save him. Yeah. I, I just wanted to, it, it was, but, but it, it was, it was a good show. Friday. Yeah, no, no. He, he, he's yeah. professional. Yeah, I, I mean, and. The, oh, nobody's critiquing the show. I mean, there was, there was only one show that he got drunk. That show. The five shows. <laughs> What? We had five shows, and only one of them was the one that he got drunk the late show Friday night. Yeah, there's two shows, and then three shows Saturday night. It's a, it's a busy, crazy, <laughs> Audi, Audi, crazy weekend. He retires after every every weekend. He goes, that's it. <laughs> no more. <laughs> I told John on the way home, I said, that's it. This was my farewell. <laughs> my swan song. I'm, I'm retiring. Yeah. like show Cher. Business. He just retired. How are you? For you? Yeah. you should hear these two argue in the office, or I should say John Browbeat Artie, because it's a funny thing. John's on the road, and John just wants to, he just wants to crank it out, man. He's just going to say, let's make the money. So they wanted to add a sixth show. And Artie's like, and Artie, like, I think is on the road under protest. Mm -hmm. you know, so well, they I'm doing it for money. I got to make your money. And, and, and Artie's like, John, listen, I don't want to work that much. And they just, like, bicker all the time. They're like a married couple. Well, we're going to be out there. Might as well be making yeah, money. What else are you going to do? Yeah, there's nothing else to do. It's you, bored. But you're going to say that how, eating. How, yeah, the weight of the show falls on Artie. Right. Or he does well, an hour and a half. No, he does minutes. 40 minutes. I did 25. Uh, yeah. It's not quite that much. No, no but he's the closer. So he, yeah, Can I make a suggestion on your shows? I mean, uh, you know, a yeah. critique. Yeah. And I haven't even seen them. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's a little too long. No, no, they're only an hour and a half long. Yeah. yeah no, all we have is one I went guy. to see Sarah yeah. Silverman oh. on uh, Saturday Night Bush. She was so funny. Yeah? Oh, my God. you got to go see her show. She was funny as hell. Yeah, she's really good. Oh, wonderful. Real good. Yeah, I really, really think she's the bomb. But she, um, she does like, like I, I got there. The show was supposed to start at seven thirty. It started at twenty to eight. Okay, I got there late, so thank God it started at twenty to eight. Um, so twenty to eight, and uh, I was out. I was down in Noble by nine. I mean, like, in other words, she does a little under an hour. Yeah, yeah. And you're out, and it's enough. Hey, you're done. That's you're a, done. That's enough for comedy. It Absolutely. really is. Yeah. And I know you feel like, well, you know, you're charging people money, you got to stand there all night, but give them a good show and get the hell out. And then you... Well, these shows are only an hour and a half long. But at a club, every show, at a comedy club, it's usually an hour and a half. Yeah, I think those hour. comedy clubs are boring sometimes. They're so goddamn long. Is it just you and John? There's got to be somebody me, else. It was me, Artie, and Ross Maneem. That was it. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, and then Artie had his body there. Right, but um, th uh, this really good comedian came with us. There's a, a, a MC, a middle, they call it, and the closer. And the closer. That's what right. it's like at a, at a comedy club. Who's the closer, you? Yeah. yeah. And you're drunk. And not all the time. Yeah. I'm only drunk Howard, if the people say, get me drunk. There's no you security. You say no. They come, yeah. But, yeah, Artie, the security is that you say no. <laughs> like someone's got to stop. Someone's got to tackle someone. Artie acts like there was a gun to his head. He yeah. had to drink eight to Well, you himself. haven't seen our crowds, Robin. <laughs> there might have been a gun nearby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm probably Reminds not. me of that scene in like the Blues Brothers when guys are throwing stuff at the right. cage. You, yeah, you tell yeah. you tell the head of the biker group in Columbus, I'm not doing a shot with him. <laughs> Michael, you're on the air. Good morning, Howard. Oh, my the guy who walks up is he like a, a biker dude? And, yeah. A lot of them look like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. some bald. Yeah, yeah. bald earrings, earrings, nose rings. You're doing a shot. 
pussy. Cardi never turns him out. I heard that, you know, once he did a shot of tequila with Tabasco in it. Oh. By mistake. Yeah. One guy gave oh. me a shot at the killer once on stage in Pittsburgh. It had, ha it had his girlfriend's hair in it. Oh, did he do that on purpose? I don't know if he did it on purpose, but I got so mad. And then I drank the <laughs> shit. Go ahead, Michael. Howard, I got to tell you, that steak and shake is the most greasiest food you can ever eat in your lifetime. Thank you. That is disgusting what he ate. Howard, That's it's so greasy. Yeah. Oh, gre greasy beyond, beyond belief. I like a steak. And I'd like a shake. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And let me tell you something. His his girlfriend will leave him in a drop of a hat if he loses your show. Once you go off the air, he's done. I don't think so. No, he'll be married by then. No. He'll be married he'll, with a kid. He'll divorce him then. She's only with him for the fame. Fame? What fame? Well, I don't have fame of your show. Riding your coattail. All right. Nah, she hey. loves him. Who knows? But what, So what if she's with him for the show? Let him have a good time. He's in show. Yeah, I guess, yeah. but... He's banging on a hot check. What does he care? He's going to be 400 pounds in no time. <laughs> he keeps going on the road. I don't know. He seems to manage this. Well, he jogged like... What, what, what did yeah, he do Saturday I woke up and I jogged two and a half miles on the treadmill. <laughs> and then probably went to McDonald's drive through for breakfast. <laughs> no, I, had a, I, I did. I actually... I, <laughs> For lunch. You know what I had for lunch Saturday afternoon after I jogged the steak? <laughs> Did you really? Me and, my buddy, me and my buddy Jimmy was on the road. We said, let's go get a nice meal. And we sat down and I had a steak. Steak with what, though? You see, like a steak wouldn't even be bad. Yeah, let's hear what else. Yeah, it's what not else? real steak mash, either, mash, Howard. It's not steak. This is not steak and shake for lunch. We went to a nice place. Uh, I had mashed potatoes and... Um, Bread and yeah, and a salad. All the accoutrements. And a salad with and a couple of coke. Yes, yeah, salad coke. with Russian dressing. The cokes are what kill me. If I could knock out coke and Hawaiian punch, I would be <laughs> honestly because I a lot of my calories. I'm 35 years old. I have two Hawaiian punches and like seven cokes in a day. Yeah. <laughs> But do you see how it's lost on Artie to take him to a gourmet Howard. restaurant? <laughs> oh, please. Oh. You haven't actually. I took him to Picasso in yeah, Vegas. Why did you do that? Oh, it was just so stupid. And they bring out this tiny little lamb chop, and I'm like, this guy, this poor bastard is going to go out and eat. <laughs> yeah, he's going to go out and have a real meal. I'm thinking, good, at least they limit my portions. Because, uh, you know, I don't have to be so fat. They brought me a second one. Was, what waist size are you, anyway? Very nice. You're not though. that bad. I, I, my my uh, jeans are 36s, 35 That's the Same as me. And I can get into 34 sometimes. What jeans? So, are you wearing jeans? I'm not wearing jeans right now. You know what he's resorted to now? <laughs> In the Hilton Hotel, he's wearing pajama bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> look, oh, look who's talking. Ralph Lauren over yeah. here. John, your ass is so... John's ass is out the whole week. I know, no I know. what he has on what him, Howard, half you... of the crack of his ass is I know. grotesque. It's grotesque. <laughs> I it. they, they bring us, they put us in the back office of this comedy club. It's like a closet. Yeah. John orders a bucket of beers that he has to have before he goes on stage. I mean, you think I got problems. Right. And it's, you're sitting on a couch. John has to bend over to get the beer, and his ass is in your face while he's taking the cap off, uh, uh, shoving a line with his hamster you know. light. Just gross. You know what's man. funny, Howard? <laughs> I know. I've been over to like his place, and the ass is like part of the whole day. The ass is all over the place. Yeah, he I don't... has never bought a pair of pants that fit him. No, he comes out to my house, and the ass is just like everywhere. I've seen John's ass more than I've seen Dana's. <laughs> Howard, you know what's funny? The Camino is with us. Who's with you? The comedian. <laughs> this, this, this guy. Is this comic that doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't do anything bad? Yeah, is and it just, he must have been repulsed by me and Artie the whole time, just drinking. <laughs> he's, he's really funny, but he's a real healthy guy. You know? yeah. yeah. So, it, well, dude, wow. steak and shake. But I don't know how. Why do you need a? Grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, Robin, I wasn't thinking rationally. <laughs> Why do you need a bowl of chili with it? Well, to dip yeah, your cheese sandwich in. Oh, it's so good, though. I've never heard of all of that. If you, it, it, I, I mean, that sounds like a nice combo, the bread with the cheese and the chili sauce. But Oh, Howard, if you've man. never dunked a grilled cheese in a bowl of chili. Oh, I've never heard of dunking grilled it. cheese. But plus the hamburgers come with I everything I had turkey on chili it. for dinner last night, and I just... I was I was worried that the sauce had too many calories. I put stream beans in it to fill me up. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm just trying to stay somewhat thin. 
This no. guy, he just, he, I mean, for what he eats, he's pretty thin if you think about it. Yeah, yeah he's amazingly he thin. He should be Walter Hudson. You're the other end of the spectrum. You, you're the most disciplined guy I've ever but seen But, dude, in my life. if I ate like you did... I, I would be so fat. I mean, there would be no hope for me. And just think of all the booze he poured in on top of it. You know, yeah. he's just, he's all over the but place. But plus, I, I forgot to mention those, those double cheeseburgers got had everything on it. So it was loaded with main, uh, you know, <laughs> mayonnaise and pickles. And, and it's know. in a bun. Yeah, it's in a bun. In a bun. <laughs> on the cigarettes. It's like the worst is when you wake up in the morning and you get a whiff of your fingers by mistake. Uh. It's like cheeseburger and cigarette uh. and tequila. <laughs> 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 You relive the whole awful uh. night. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, it's like... It's just, it's just, it's just, like the, the phone is full of grease. Well, let me tell you this. Looks, like a, looks like there was a murder in the room. One Somebody time, murdered a steak. One time, when I was <laughs> one time when I was like 20 years old, I was talking to my buddy on the phone, my friend Mike Saccone. I'll never forget this. We think there's a guy upstairs who executed a cow in his room. <laughs> We're pretty sure housekeeping... He's all the remnants of it. I was talking to him on the phone. This was when I was like 20 years old, and he heard me go, oh, oh. He goes, oh, well, what's the matter? He thought I was like dying. And I, I found a White Castle pickle in my underwear. <laughs> I don't know how in the hell it got in. I was wearing jockey oh. underwear, and it was like the, the oh, ketchup was dried up, and it was stuck to my ass almost. Hey, Howard. <laughs> but I know Artie's getting heavy because we took this small plane home, yeah. and I sat next to him. And you know those the armrest? Yeah. Artie put it up because I guess maybe I his fat when it's squeezing <laughs> And at one point, I tried putting it down so I could lean on it. it uh, first of all, John, don't even, don't even get into your behavior on a plane. When John had long hair, we sat together and coach once on a plane. He fell asleep in two seconds on a six-hour flight, and his hair was in my food. I couldn't wake him up. And he's drooling. I'm going to get to the Four shows over here. Artie, I'll give you the money for the parking lane. He got money to tip the driver. <laughs> I'm following John on, the, on stage. He spits on the mic. He's got like, like tuberculosis or something. You get up there, the mic is soaked in wet. It looks like someone dunked it in a sink. And John's going, yeah, sorry, right, let's go bring a party there. Bring a party there. Anybody got any weed? What's the mic on me? Anyway. Right, I just got to go to the ATM machine. I'll get you the money. But you can't do something. Hey, you got money for the food? I just need some money to get to the airport. I'll pay you when we get back. I'll pay you when we get back. I'll pay you when we get back. Artie told me the funniest story the other day. You know, Artie? Jeez. Boy, you know what? I've heard that monologue. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Artie's yeah. been eating Milano cookies yeah. um, oh, for breakfast. Oh, this was the worst. Last, uh, was it Friday? It was Friday, yeah. Uh, John, two days before that, Ar John had asked Artie for a Milano cookie, and Artie gave it to him. The next day, John just decided, well, now I can take him. So he reached into the bag and just took a Milano cookie out of Artie's bag. And then he ate, you know, he started to eat it, and then he had to tell Artie something. So he leaned down and started talking into Artie's ear. Artie said he had Milano cookie. Howard. Howard, it was. I did spit on my ass. Howard, I had to go in the. I had to go into the bathroom and boil my face. <laughs> <laughs> I was so grossed out. He comes over to me, he takes a lot of cookie, and he starts talking to me about, like, okay, so it's all set. We got a car coming for us. Howard, he was an inch from my face. He spit. It was saliva and Milano cookie crumbs covered my face. Like, I look like a piece of modern art. You know, it's really weird because John, like, latches on to certain people. Like, like John and Jackie were, like, yeah, joined right, at the hip. Right. And then when Jackie, you know, did his swan song here, <laughs> like, you're not that in touch with Jackie anymore. Oh. And, and, and now it's like, Artie just filled Jackie's shoes completely. I mean, he's, oh, he's a younger version. Yeah, he like, he like, he's like the same guy. He's paying for crap. He's, he, he eats uncontrollably. Mm -hmm. He likes to drink. He's perfect. Yeah. But no, Howard, I know Artie, <laughs> the money situation on the road with John, it, it's, it's getting embarrassing. Well, do you what realize? Do you mean? Well, just because, just because, you know, we get a town car, which I had to force him to get, right. uh, to, to, to go from the hotel to the airport, and the town car guy is waiting to get paid. Supposedly, this is stuttering John and friends on tour, and of course, right. I got to tip him, because the guy's just waiting there. So, you know, and after I tip him, oh, sorry, I got to go to the ATM. And, hey, you know, I usually tip him on the way back. You know, Did he ever give you any of the money back? 
Well, how, what do you, well, you right now? He owes me five hundred dollars. I got the I got the check. All right, let's see. It. What do you owe you five hundred for? Well, we well, sometimes we uh, we split some of the expenses and. Uh, yeah. You know, why don't you do this before you leave on any given weekend? You and John put in the same amount of money into a into a, a fund, a fund. Right. and that's the money. Cause, you know what? Because why do you leave it up to anyone? What you're saying is make makes complete sense, but right. it'll never. Like happen. when you went to the steak and shake, who ends up buying everything? Uh -huh. I did. Wait, right. wait, wait. I offered to pay. You said John, it's on there's me. No, oh you said it's on me. Fred, what happened at lunch? Remember lunch last week? We went. John goes. I go. I'll pay for lunch. With John, I said the two of us will buy lunch, and John goes to open his wallet. There's nothing. It's, right. it's the abyss. It's just nothing. And it's the same move. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, he doesn't know it's empty. Because I have a credit card. Why would I, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I can't. It's, it's, why, would I, why would I pull it out? <laughs> Pay with his credit card? Sometimes, if you, I mean, come God, on, Art. You, every once in a while, you do, but you really gotta. It, it's no, just you know what? No one wants to always tip the limo driver. No one. Uh, no, it was included in the uh, car, the uh, tip. No. No, it was. No. It never is. It never the guy always. I mean, I like those. We always give, give a little something. I always yeah. give the guy a twenty at least. Yeah. You know, it's a. It's a, it's a yeah. No, I would have too, but I didn't. It's have any cash money. too. The guy's got some money on him. I, I had no cash coming home. Hey, but why don't you have cash? <laughs> Because I, uh, I spilled my wallet out. I had ten bucks, and I and at the bar we went and the late Saturday night. I bought three cans of ready whip. <laughs> oh, for to, to do um, whip it. whippets. <laughs> yeah, so I emptied my wallet. Howard, but... it is, this, I'm telling you, this. I don't know if it's funny on stage, but it's retarded backstage. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a documentary. Yeah. What goes on? He's buying ready whip. He's buying ready. He's 37. He's got children. He's got, he's got money. He's spent money. The whip it. The, the whip it. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm ossified in the back of a cab ordering everything on the menu at his face and shake. He's get, trying to get whippets. <laughs> the comic who's with us just can't wait to get home. <laughs> go, to, go to like a spin class. <laughs> I'll get you back home and I'll come real quick. Oh, my God. It really is. It really is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And then we're on a plane at 9 a.m. on a Sunday and we just look awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are in like. Where were you, Scranton or Columbus? Columbus, Columbus. I mean, and you're, and it's, you're, it's like you turned it into Manhattan. Yeah, we did. We did. I mean, it really is just. I mean, look at me. Look, look at my eyes. Oh, I know. You look horrible. You're looking at me. I look horrible. <laughs> My mother, I slept all yesterday afternoon. I missed the Yankee game. I woke up at 6. Now I'm screwed because I can't get Sleep. to bed. Yeah. My mother comes over with food. And uh, she looks, she, you, you look horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you stop doing this? I'm like, what? I didn't go to college. I have to do this. Yeah, what am I going to do? <laughs> look stop at me. doing it. Stop doing it. But you could, you know. You could sort of curtail some of the behavior. No, you're right. You know. <laughs> Is it fun, Artie, when you're doing it? <laughs> when you're on stage and, you know, the people no, are I'm liking you. And, and waking up at 2. It's got to be afternoon afternoon fun, at least. And Yes, it's fun. fun. When, it's fun when you're doing it. The recovery process is <laughs> god-awful. Aaron, you're on the air. Hey, what's up, Howard? Hey. Hey, um, one thing uh, you need to know about Steak and Shake, although it is very greasy, uh -huh. them, them steak burgers are about an eighth inch thick. Mm -hmm. So they're like the thinnest hamburgers in the world. Okay, so they're hardly there. Right. Yeah. Sounds yeah, good. And yeah, but already got doubles. And it still doesn't matter. It's still really tiny. I got a blind uh, I'm laughing them, so hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And them, them french fries are shoestring. All right. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, thanks, sorry. For, thanks for adding this. Yeah. Thanks for coming to my defense, but it. Well, you, you know, you know, y'all are harassing uh, or getting on them about uh, how y'all are imagining these burgers like quarter pounders from. Uh, All right. Thank you for the specs, son. Who cares? <laughs> sorry, I had four uh, of them. Never mind. It's still too much food. <laughs>
Now, let me tell you about Steak and Shake. <laughs> now, it is greasy. I'll give you that. But these are hamburgers. Them hamburgers. Them hamburgers. I ain't like regular New York type hamburgers. <laughs> Dave, you're on the air. Howard, hey, I love you, man. Hey, I was at the show Saturday night. Artie rocks. <laughs> Good. <laughs> he was great. But Artie, your buddy is terrible. What buddy? Oh. Oh, you know, John? Artie. <laughs> hey, Artie. Yeah. Artie. Hey, Artie, you got to tell that joke about the priest that you closed with. That was a great joke. I told it all day yesterday. Well, that's not tellable on the air. Oh, you can change it around. Hey, and when, when John talks, he looks like one of those slow motion sneeze things they do on, like, the Science Channel. All right. We, uh, who cares? All right. Everybody bores me. All right. Uh... We didn't let that guy tell us how big the uh, French, the uh, onion rings. <laughs> yeah, we only got to the French fries when I hung up on them. Well, they're regular size, Robin. <laughs> well, the see here, um, they're regular onion, onion rings. Ring. <laughs> yeah, they barely fit around my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Which is how I like to devour them. When you're banging an onion ring. <laughs> We're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Hi, I'm Gay Ramon, Howard Stern's oh. best gay boyfriend. And, um, um, Howard, if I would ever get you by myself, you and I in the bedroom, I would lick you from head to toe. I would play with your feet, tickle you, lick your booty. Um, anything you want me to do, smack me. Um, angry rooster, whatever you want to do, baby. I love you. <laughs> 